It has caused an uproar from the moment it was announced. A satanic statue slated to be unveiled in Detroit later this month. But despite outrage from religious leaders, those plans are moving forward tonight. 7 Action News reporter Ross Jones is here now with this strange story. Only word for it, strange. Good evening, ladies. The, uh, Detroit has been through uh, hell for all sorts of different reasons, from riots to bankruptcy. So maybe that's why one group says the Motor City is the perfect place to unveil a symbol of Satan. Gather together to stand as one unified voice against this demonic spirit that is trying to invade our city. If you'd been at the Greater New Mount Moriah Baptist Church this morning in Detroit, you might have wondered what in the devil they were talking about. In this city, we will not allow it. It is a one ton, nine foot bronze statue of the satanic symbol Baphomet. And as you might expect, it's been having a hard time finding a home. It was erected by a group called the Satanic Temple, who originally planned to place it next to a monument of the Ten Commandments at Oklahoma's state capitol. But before it made its way there, the group planned a big unveiling here later this month. And that's what led nine Detroit preachers to announce a counter-protest this morning. They were kicked out of Boston, right? Oklahoma didn't want them. They tried to put Satanic coloring books in Florida. Right, that was shut down. Now they come to Detroit. Why did they come to Detroit? That is the question in the minds of just about everybody who's heard of the Temple's plan. But according to their spokesperson, the group has strong membership ties here in the city. So on July 25th at Burt's Warehouse in Detroit, they plan the statue's big debut with tickets starting at 25 bucks. VIP status runs three times that price and gets you a photo with the statue and a signed poster. But for the love of God, says the invite, Please dress to impress. This enemy that we're fighting is an invisible enemy, and it's going to take invisible weapons, the weapons of prayer, the weapons of fasting. Prayer and fasting, coming together as one, would drive the spirit out. Well, prayer and fasting couldn't have hurt, but it turns out that bad PR is what really sealed it for Satan. Reached by phone this afternoon, the manager of Burt's tells me that patrons weren't exactly thrilled with the idea, so they've decided to cancel it. So no statue, right? Well, not exactly. A spokeswoman for the Satanic Temple says that the event will still take place on July 25th, just at a different venue, one they will announce later on. I'm so. sure that they don't want you to find out about either, huh? Uh, yeah, and I wonder who would go to an event like this, but apparently uh -huh. there is an audience out there. Okay. Okay. So each is